Yo, what's going on guys? It's Alpha Plays here and welcome to episode 2 of my core series. Today we're going to be talking about combat. If you missed the last video, go check it out right now. Today we're going to talk about how to actually put weapons in that you could use against the NPCs. So let's get straight into it, man. Now we're going to actually have weapons that we could use to actually fight back. So let's go to the project content, go to the NPC AI kit, uh, hit the drop down, and go to dependent templates, and we're going to want to put in destructible rifle. So as you can see, the destructible rifle, let's drag this in. And this weapon is already set up to work with the NPC. And we can actually take a script from this weapon so we could use it with any weapon. So let me just show an example. We pick up this gun, as you can see, it doesn't work. Look at this, now we can actually damage him. This is, this is great if you want to use this weapon. But we want to use any weapon. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to core content and let's drag in a normal weapon. So I'm going to drag in a sword maybe. Let's drag in a sword and let's drag in a a pistol let's see what's going to happen I'm gonna pick up the pistol let's see how much damage it does nothing it doesn't work same with the sword let's pick up the sword and see it doesn't do nothing now the reason for this is there was actually a specific script that is in this weapon right here the destructible rifle that makes it work compared to every other weapon and we're gonna take that script and then we can import it to the other weapons so let's get straight into that so I'm just gonna hit the uh, collide all because I opened a bunch of stuff, make everything more simplified. So guys, here's the plan. Basically what we're gonna wanna do is go to the destructible rifle, right click on it, and then go to the instances object. Now this template is actually editable. So let's go to the drop down, and you should see something called destructible weapon server. This is what we're gonna need to make it work with ranged weapons, and we're gonna drag in something else that would actually work with melee weapons. So if you guys wanna see melee weapons, just skip, skip in the video. Now back to this script destructible weapon server let's right click on it and head over to the duplicate or you could do Control w duplicate it now we're going to go to our pistol right click and do the same thing we did here so let's the instance it so we can edit it let's open it up with the drop down and now we're just going to move our destructible weapon server the one that we duplicated right onto the pistol and as you can see now it is in our advanced pistol now we're going to go to the server context and we're gonna to wanna to delete something that says weapon damage shoot server. So let's delete that. Now if we were to test this out right now, this is what would happen. So we did, we did the damage now, but as you can see, what happened to the damage numbers? So there's another script that we need to drag in from the client context, which we're going to do right now. All right, so head back over to that destructible rifle and now open up the client context and you'll see destructible weapon client. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're going to right click, duplicate, Open up our pistol, go to that client context, and drag that into the client context. So just like this, drag it on top of the client context. Now it is in the client context. Let's organize it a little bit better, put it right in the middle. And uh, now everything's in there. Now let's test it out and see what happens. Now, as you can see, now we have the damage numbers. So we basically took everything from the structural rifle and put it in our weapon, and now we have a working weapon. Now we're going to get into actually changing the damage on this thing. Guys, very simple to change the damage. Let's go to our advanced pistol. By the way, delete the destructible rifle now. You probably saw me do it. Delete it. You don't need it anymore. Head over to your advanced pistol. And right here, our destructible weapon server, uh, the one the thing that we added, and we have the numbers right here. So this is what matters. Headshots, NPCs, and damage to objects. These are the two that are going to matter in this case. You can change them all if you want. But for some reason, they have headshots at less. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. But let's let's try some. Let's just the 20 and 40 headshots. So like double, you know. Let's see what happens. So here we go. 20, 40. So much more powerful. That's how you change damage. You could change a bunch of stuff on this. Uh, for to, oh, I'm about to exit out. Hold up. All right. Head over to your pistol. And uh, you can actually change more stuff. Uh, if you go to the drop down, you can change the shoot and the reload, how fast it is and everything. But first, uh, if you go here, uh, there's a bunch of options. You could do multi shots, which is like three at once, a burst. So you have projectile speed, gravity. I mean, guys, you can mess with a bunch of stuff. Bounces. This, this one's really fun to mess around with. I like the bounce function. Uh, especially if I have like walls, and it bounces off of them. That's pretty cool. If you keep going down, you got ammo. I mean, guys, there's a bunch of options here. Uh, the spread of the weapon. And uh, we're gonna look at these really quick and then we're gonna get into melee weapons. So with these two, shoot and reload, these are, if you drop down these two right here, the shoot, uh, this is basically talking everything about how it actually, you know, the timing of it. 
So for it to change, uh, the cast is very short. Execution, how about if we change this to zero? And let's just say cooldown zero. Uh, now we're gonna shoot very fast. Look how fast we can shoot now. So that's how you mess around with uh, speed and everything. Now the final thing is the reload, uh, If you the cast time here. How about if you change this to 0 0.5, you get a nice little fast reload in. Uh, all of this is pretty low, no cooldown, yep. So let's see. As you can see, quick reload. So that's basically all the stats of the weapon. Uh, you could change how it looks and everything. Uh, we're going to get into that later in the series, like customizable stuff and making everything look cooler with materials. That's going to be in a later episode. So this method works for any ranged weapon as well as magic weapons, I believe. Uh, so guys, whenever you're actually done uh, customizing your pistol, we're going to want to save it as a template. So I'm just gonna, you know, change the name to, uh, you know, cool pistol something, something, you know, name that whatever you want. Now let's right click on it and go to create new template from this. And, you know, name it whatever you want, I'm gonna do cool pistol. And, uh, you know, no, let's change it up. It is a fast pistol, so we go rapid pistol. All right, new template, hit that. And now you have, I spelled it. Okay, whatever. You have a rapid L pistol, I guess. So you have this, uh, you have your new pistol now, and I could drive this in, and your pistol will already be ready for you. So make sure to do that at the end to save everything you've done, and then you can drag it in whenever you want. It's going to be important for the future, so make sure you do it. Alright guys, enough talking, let's get into melee weapons. Alright guys, now that we did the ranged weapon, let's do it with a melee weapon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to community content and look up Carlos Blade. Carlos Blade hit enter and you should see by standard combo you know you may making all the mods right so let's go to import or should we want to add yes now let's go to core content we have the Carlos Blade so let's drag this into the scene and just like the destructible rifle in the previous section of the video it's gonna be kind of the same thing we're dragging in this blade just to take a script from it and then put it into any any melee weapon we want so now let's go to core content and let's let's type in our melee weapon so I'm gonna put Right, so let's type in sword in the core content. And uh, I'll just test it out with this advanced two handed sword. Let's bring this in. This is going to be our weapon that we're actually going to use. So now let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So here are the two blades, right? We have the advanced sword. So with the colors blade, if I show you, it already works. It's already set up to work with the AI. Now, how about if I want to use a different weapon? Like in this example, it's going to be this two handed sword. So if I take this. It doesn't do no damage, it doesn't work. So, just like the ranged weapon, we're going to take a script from the Carlos Blade and put it into the sword right here. So let's do that. So let's open up Carlos Blade and open up the server context right here. And you're gonna see melee ability server. So with this, this actually works a little bit different. Each one of these represents an attack. So if you look right here, slash one, slash two, slash three. So let's open up our sword now. And as you can see, we have two attacks. So basically we're gonna need two of these servers. So let's open up our server context. You're gonna see equipment melee attack server. We're gonna to wanna to delete this. Um, the instance and delete. Now we're gonna go over here and drag in our melee ability server. So let's drag in this and hold down control, click. Now I got both of these. So if your weapon has three attacks, which you can see right here, attack one, attack two, then you'll actually grab all three of these. But in my case, uh, I have one and two attack. So I'm just gonna grab two of these, the first two. So I'm gonna drag these into the server context. So just make sure that you have that opened up and let's drag that in. Let's drag it in right here. And there we go. Now we have that in the server context. Now we need to actually go inside of these and change some stuff around. Melee ability server. So this is the first attack. And right now it's set up for slash one. So we actually got to set it up for attack one. So it actually works with the sword. So let's bring attack one into this spot right here. So hold down on attack one, drag right into the ability part, let go. And there you go. Now it's assigned to attack one ability. And we actually got to change the hitbox as well. Since this is a hitbox, this is hitbox trigger. So drag the hitbox trigger, hold it down, drag it into the hitbox. And now we have attack one set up for and the hitbox trigger and everything like that. Now we go to the second one. Set up for slash two. Let's do the same thing, but this time drag attack two into this spot and hitbox. Set that up as well. And that's pretty much that. So guys, if we were to test it out right now, we will not have damage numbers. So we gotta change something in the client context. We're gonna go to the Carlos Blade and go to the client context. 
it should see destructible weapon client so let's right click on this and duplicate so let's go to duplicate and now let's go to our sword let's go to client context and let's just drag this into the client context organize it a little bit and that's basically that so let's test it out so we have the advanced sword and now we do damage so that's basically how you set it up in melee now we're gonna actually put the template in so let's go to well first let's let's delete the carlos blade and we have our sword ready let's make a template out of it right click create a new template call it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it uh oh, amazing amazing two-handed sword all right boom amazing two-handed sword then we have our cool assault rifle there you go we just set it up for both and now let's test out the both the weapons sword Saw rifle. Now guys, if you want to change the damage of your sword, let's go back to this server context and the melee ability server and right here you could change the damage. So let's just say I wanted to do a little less damage, maybe 30. Let's change all of these settings to 30 and I'll change these to 35. Now I'm going to change it for the second attack. If you want though, you can have it set up like this where basically your first swing does 30 and your second swing does 50. I mean, you can basically set it up however you want. But uh, I'm going to set it up to where it does the same. Actually, no, I, I will do that. The second attack, I'm going to make stronger than the first. So it's going to be weak, strong. Uh, I'm going to make it a little strong. Maybe like 40. 40, and I'll leave that 51. I'll just do it like this. Actually, I'll go with this like 45. Okay, now let's give it another shot. Make sure everything's working. And 30 and 40. So that's how you set up melee. Uh, and that's how you set up the AR. So guys, a very important thing to do after you made changes to your template is to update the template. So because we just changed the damage, so all you gotta do is right click on your sword and just do update template from this. That's it, just to make sure everything's updated because if we were to drag it in from here and it wasn't updated, then it might revert back to the previous save basically. So just make sure to do that. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video today. And next video, we're going to actually talk about static player equipment, which is a script that will actually let you have starter weapon. So when you spawn your starter weapon, that's what I'm going to discuss next video. It's going to be a short little video for you guys. Then the video after that, I will talk about how to actually customize the NPC himself. So his damage, his health, his attack speed, all of that we're going to cover in that video. So stay off for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Appreciate it. If you like the series, make sure to leave a like on the channel. And, uh, you know, so subscribe. So subscribe. All right, peace.